like a mummy with your entrails Cause I'm nuts, nuts, nuts for your guts, guts, guts girl I'm nuts, nuts, nuts for your guts, guts, guts I don't know what, what, what I do But couldn't cut, cut, cut me into you Oh well, 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 look who's in the building Hi <laughs> yeah, yeah, look who's in the building. Hi, it's me. <laughs> oh, wait, look look who's in the building, guys. Wait a minute. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for you to say, look who's in the building so many times. <laughs> like, wait a second, I only knew who was in the building one out of I three of those know. times. Two words. Hi. Look. Hi, it's me. <laughs> there's only so many times you could be in a building. That's true. You know? At some point, you got to be removed from the establishment. You know, like you'll get like forcibly thrown out of the establishment at some I point. Forcibly escorted out of the building. Usually, when I end up in a building three times, it's because someone doesn't want me in like the second or third time, and I'm forcibly making my way in. So they're forcibly making my way back out. Just crawling through the fucking masses, like a zombie, Security just like cars. breaking through the windows. They're boarding up the windows of Best Buy. <laughs> Where's the Bre camera? That's oh uh, yeah, there's a camera. Hey, if you're not watching the video, Breeze just cheers. Cheers. cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. What are you drinking on, Brie? It's fucking not even... It's noon, but... Uh, I'm hey, it's noon a, somewhere. I'm drinking a peach high noon. It's a vodka soda. It's oh, low carb. Oh, see, look, it's noon somewhere in this can yeah, that's going in, 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 in your body. <laughs> <laughs> it's a high noon, actually. You know what I mean? I mean, you do, I, got, I got some whiskey. Yeah, you do. Some you whiskey and some, some whiskey. Coke, some Jameson. I got, a, I got a Bud Light Michelada I'm going to drink. I brought it for, oh, the, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. for the aesthetic, you know? Yeah, I wanted to get Michelas before this. We kind of got cucked. We did get cucked. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, speaking of what not getting cucked. What a kick cucked, in the dick. What a kick in the fucking dick. <laughs> That's a statement. Anyway, <laughs> before we start all of this, we're talking about Mirrors 2 today. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, we talked about Mirrors just a couple weeks ago, right? Like two or three weeks ago? It was, it was uh, December 30th, the day before Betty White died. Yeah, we, we'll we talk about that later. We got some uh, correspondence from that. Got we, some, we killed her. Some <laughs> and we'll talk about how we She's killed her later, dead. I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> before we get into that and mirrors too, I want to take a moment to say that we just passed the 500 a month goal on Patreon that we've had for years. I think that was a goal that was still on when uh when you were on the show like a good year and a half ago. Look, dude, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I don't remember anything. <laughs> I came here to get drunk and have fun. That was my only purpose hey, on man, this cheers. podcast. <laughs> That's what we're doing right now. Hell yeah. <laughs> but. We finally passed the 500 uh, a month goal, and we're pretty close to 100 Patreons, too, which is also crazy. That's, like, a lot. That's, like that's some, insane. I'm really proud of you. That's a, You, too, dude. I mean, you built a lot of those when we were here. Some, uh, half so the, much has happened since I've been I'd say, gone, though. I'd say at least 40 of those people are here from, like, when you were here just, like, praying all that you're going to come back. All 40 of those people still always reply to me on Instagram, and for I love sure. them so much. For sure. I see them on your DMs. So much. Or not your DMs. I don't see your DMs. I see them my, on, like, your, comments, your, pic dude. your pictures, your comments, they and your Twitter and so shit. They love so much. <laughs> Your love, bud. I love Your it. Love. I love you guys too. Thank so you. So we built that. Thank us, us together. Bree, Thank Bree too. It was Bree all too. me. Yeah, it was all Bree. Really, <laughs> honestly, like things went, things went sour when Bree was, just got things drunk got scary. And like, <laughs> and it works, dude. Hey, <laughs> and it works. You're a fucking icon. <laughs> but you know, anyway, He's somebody's uncle, dude. Podcasting is my full-time job now, thanks to listeners of the show and, you know, people that support this show, Scream, all my other stuff. So, I'm really grateful to all you guys. It's pretty awesome that I'm able to just shit on mirrors, too, all day and, like, you know, sit around and make money off of that. It's pretty awesome. I'm very proud of you. So, on that note, since the $500 goal was hit, I said I was going to print out a bunch of stickers. So, I print out some stickers, and I'm going to talk about them later. But Tony Draws made a really cool design with, like, a skull and some soup, which we had to cut a second ago. But yeah. we were talking about how we... I was we, gassing him up. <laughs> yeah. We should have... We were gassing you the fuck up, Tony. And we should have It looks made, great, Tony. Yeah. We should have made a skull yeah. soup thing. We never thought of that. You're clever. We never thought, like... We're stupid. Okay. Why not make, like, our heads full of soup? That would have been super fucking That would have cool. been cool, too, but instead we put ourselves in soup. In soup. We we're, were like, yeah, this is genius. Dude, this we're lame. Is, we were like, oh, we're going to be in soup? No one could have ever thought of that. Nobody. You fucking kidding me? And then Tony over here pops off with this. Thanks, Tony. Absolutely. Innovative. Love Thanks him. a lot, Tony. No, but literally, Thanks, thank Tony. you, Tony. Like, that's, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so, on that note... I printed out a bunch of stickers with the Tony design and then with the Morbid Soup design, if you guys remember that from a long time ago, and we were going to do like some uh, extra collabs and whatnot with uh, your good old pals from Morbid. Printed out those stickers. Those are going to go to not just the Patreon donors that are there when we hit the 500, but anyone that's on the Patreon when I get the stickers. So they'll come in like a week or two, maybe three weeks. I don't know. But if you're on the Patreon at that time, they'll be sent to you. And also, I'm doing one other thing. I got this two pound box. See that box right there, Brie? Yeah, that's a big box. That's a big old box. That Can is I have a it? 
No. If you're on the Patreon, maybe. <laughs> I'll put you, I mean, like, I'm not. Is it a giveaway? It's a giveaway. So, Wouldn't that be cheating if it were me, though? It's not cheating. I mean, like, it'd be less cheating if, uh, it'd be more cheating if I didn't give it to you if you're on the Patreon. I'm saying, because the whole thing is I'm doing it for every Patreon donor. Anyone who's on the oh. Patreon is entered into this giveaway. I thought it was just one box. It is one box. But everyone who's entered, uh, who's in the Patreon, they're entered in. So one person on the Patreon is going to get this box. I see. This box has an extra large shirt in it. So hopefully it'll fit you. If it doesn't, I'm it's sorry. Nice, I don't know. Okay, it's a nice box. Cut it. Put on something oh, that will fit no, you. Oh, yeah. Extra know. large will fit good. It'll, it'll fit anyone. And maybe, it, maybe it's a little big. Maybe it's a little small. I don't know. Cut it. Do whatever. I don't fucking It's a shirt. There's an extra large shirt. It has the cover art. It's the only one made so far. I haven't sold any of those. I don't even have one for myself. So that one's just going out. Bree doesn't have one either. No. Nope. So that shirt is going out in the box. There's three pairs of Pennywise socks. There's some bottle openers, some stickers, some bookmarks, some magnets, other horror soup stuff, and like other random horror things. So that's just going to go out to someone on the Patreon. It's going to be the same deal as the stickers, because I think the stickers will probably get here around like the 15th of February, something like that. Mm. So that box is going to go out the 15th of February to one random Patreon donor. So if you guys want to be a part of any of that, you want some stickers, you want some other stuff. Go and hop on that Patreon. That's on the you thing. heard. So yeah, maybe I'm trying to lure you guys in. You know, maybe I'm trying to do it. But you know what? Hey, He's I'm bribing you. I'm bribing you a little bit. Maybe he it's sells a hard bargain. Maybe it's exclusive. You know, maybe you, maybe this is the only way you could get some of this stuff. But uh, it's pretty cool stuff. It's hey man, cool. if you want it though. It's pretty cool stuff. And by the way, the stickers, those are going out to everyone. I'm just going to say this real quick, though. The box, I'm sorry, but that is exclusive to U.S. listeners because otherwise the shipping is going to yeah. destroy me. I Look, even though this is my full-time <laughs> job, I'm not, like, wealthy. I'm still broke. Like, I'm, like, yeah. I'm trying to live. So, like... I invite you out sometimes. You're like, nah, I'm broke. I'm like, dude, what? I thought you were, like, this huge superstar. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not. Kidding. Look, I, I have, like, I have money to let me live, and I'm just, like, doing what I can. So, just living. Look, if you're in the U.S., you can get the box. The stickers, I'll send out to everyone. I don't give a shit. Those, I could, I could do. I could I could deal with some 50-cent shit. The, the $50 shipping, I can't do. Anyway, that's all that stuff. Fair enough. It's all on patreon.com slash horror soup. Sue me. Sue get me. Go get Sue me. Speaking of Patreon, thank you to all the Patreons and specifically to the newest ones, the newest supporters of the show. We have Sandra Azorio. We have Destiny Sap. Probably comes from a tree. We have Matt Norton. <laughs> He's a VPN. Uh, Norton, huh? This is JPZ586. What's up, Love JPZ? That. That's out. a great username. Shout out, JPZ. Love that. <laughs> um, Megan Doyle. <laughs> Doyle. <laughs> Shout out Doyle. That's unfortunate. Sorry, Megan. <laughs> Kara Marie, Samantha Ratana, and Justice Halard Zatar. 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 Put some spice it's like on a that superhero bad boy. or something. I feel yeah. like I forgot one. But I hope I didn't forget someone's name because I feel like I put another one in here and then maybe I deleted it or something. Oh, okay, I hope I got you all you guys and I'm not forgetting anyone in the next episode. Hopefully you'll get uh, you'll get got soon. Thank you so much. Get got, bitches. All right, let's talk about mirrors too. I suppose. Mirrors too, guys. But before we talk about mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of this month's poll, werewolf theme, ginger snaps. You know what? I watched that movie when I was like 10 years old. I don't think I've ever seen it. I've seen it. It's uh, there's two, I believe. There's two. Yeah, movies. I think there's a yeah. second one. That's yeah, right. I watched them both. I was in love with them, and I don't remember anything about them. I think I've seen five minutes of the first one. Yeah, I so loved we'll it as goes. a kid. So I didn't know snaps. the whole. You know what's weird though? Hmm. I don't remember there being a werewolf. I think it's. A, I, th I looked it up and it said something like there is werewolf. So I was like, watch right, it I'll just let it slide. not be a werewolf movie, and people voted for it because werewolf movies suck. <laughs> that is not true. Werewolf movies are cool, man. What name one? Teen Wolf, an American werewolf in London. Didn't you shit all over Teen Wolf? No, I love Teen Wolf. I shit on people for shitting. American on Teen Wolf. werewolf in London is good. Amazing. I'll give it that. I love that movie. Incredible. Yeah, I love that movie. And Teen Wolf Isn't is awesome, one? dude. In Paris. Uh, yeah, Isn't there's an American werewolf in Paris. Is that one as good? Or is it a London werewolf in Australia? <laughs> it's a London werewolf in America. <laughs> <laughs> in Pakistan. <laughs> A British werewolf in, the in Czech Pakistan. Republic. <laughs> <laughs> Just start naming different countries. A Korean werewolf in North Korea. <laughs> a Scottish werewolf in Australia. You think the accents are similar, though they're not. We should just make all of those. Just make all the oh, werewolf yeah, we movies should. we can in just different settings. I got a werewolf mask somewhere. An American werewolf in a mirror. <laughs> an American and, werewolf in your bedroom. An American <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland in your mom's basement. Your mom goes to college. 
by the way. I, I just watched that movie last night, dude. That's I'm a not movie? even kidding you. Your mom goes to college as a movie? I thought that was just a statement. I thought that was just a thing that people said to people. That's a movie? It's from Napoleon Dynamite, you idiot. Oh, okay. So, yeah, there we go. So that makes I thought you yeah. meant your mom go That's what I was thinking. I was like, I thought it was a statement no. or like from or like a statement from a movie or something of the sort. I thought you meant your mom goes to college no, was a she movie like itself. She comes up to his door with her whole box of shit and she's like, yeah, and he's I'm like, trying to get money for college. Your mom goes to college. And he's like, and Kip's like, Your mom goes to college. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> all, I watched that movie literally yeah, last night. Do- I love it. Door to door sales. You yeah, love to see it. Doing, she's doing great. No, I thought there was a movie called Your Mom Goes to College. Oh no, I wish. I had a MySpace album called Your Mom Goes to College. Remember that? Uh, yeah, I remember that. Remember when people just put like their status as like, your mom goes to college? Mm-hmm. But I had a fo- photo album. So yeah, and it didn't cooler. consist of any moms going to any colleges. Yeah, no, it didn't. It was all pictures of me. Being seen. <laughs> and like tutus and stuff. <laughs> yep. Shout out tutus. Sure did. Sure did. All right, so Mirrors 2 is written by Matt Venn and directed by Victor Garcia. You wouldn't know either of them. They don't matter. It had a $4 million budget, and it was direct-to-video. It was direct-to-video. How do you spend $4 million on something that's direct-to-video? Unless like, you really just because, don't have, like, you know, producers or anything or any standpoint, like, in Hollywood. Isn't there, like, like a thing that they do, like, okay, the movie is done, let's sit these people down, and then they watch it, and then they're, like, they kind of, like, rate it somehow? Like the and they're MPAA like, oh yeah, this shit. should go to theaters, or they're like, oh yeah, this should just go straight to DVD because it's trash. No, I don't think. Uh, maybe in some cases, I don't know exactly how all that goes, but I know like so some what? movies are predetermined. Like you know, it's going to be direct to video when you're making it. But I don't know. I guess I don't did, know. If did this they works. really think that they were going to make their like money back plus more by being direct to video? Maybe they were banking on DVD sales because uh, they wanted people really wanted to see more Key for Sutherland. Which you I, don't get. I, yeah, you don't get any Kiefer in this movie. I mean, you which do is get, a good thing. It's a good thing for sure. Like, I I would prefer this movie. His to vibes not are have. there. He's cursed this film, though. I mean, the main that. guy feels like Kiefer Sutherland, and also, I want to start this off by saying, how the fuck does this movie tie into the first one? Aside from it the doesn't. fact that mirrors exist, <clears throat> it doesn't. Because I almost it's not one of those that's like a a se- it's not a direct sequel. I guess like it is a it is. a second movie, but it's not like it's taking off from the story because even the story in this one, well, I mean, they say the Mayflower in it. Were they on a Mayflower in the first one? No, that's the department store that Kiefer Sutherland was like guarding with his life. I just assumed they were on the Mayflower, like at all times. Yeah, they're in Louisiana. It's a warehouse <laughs> in the May in the Mayflower, in Louisiana. In the Mayflower. I don't think there's. Is there any oceans by Louisiana? Is there? I don't know. Geography. I assume there's water. <laughs> there's probably a lot of water. It's yeah. Very humid there. Yeah, there's water everywhere. So, uh. Either way, uh, yeah. So the Mayflower connects it. That's it. And there's mirrors. Yeah, I thought there was going to be like maybe someone was related to something or whatever's going on. I don't know why the mirrors care about anyone in this. And I don't it care. I don't know how it happened this fast either. Didn't, um, what's his name? Cameron Boyd? Boyle? Boyce? Boyce. Come yeah. off from the last movie? Uh, yeah. Wasn't his name Max in the first movie? Was it? Was that supposed... Is this supposed know. to be an older version of him? I don't know Hold because on. uh, this this man, is, this is a white man. Yes. And I don't know if you've noticed, but... Yeah, Cameron Boyce doesn't really follow that. Is his name Max? If his name is Max... It was Michael. Michael. Okay, okay. no, so no, it is him. Never okay, okay. I was going to say... And the that last was name supposed- was Carson. I think... Um, these people in this movie's last name is like Matheson. Or it's something. Max. It's Max Stahl. Matheson. Click on that man real quick. Nick Stahl? Yes. You mean the worst fucking actor in the world? Yeah, he's terrible. He looks like a young Frank Gallagher. Yeah. He's he, in Sin City. Yeah, I don't think he's a big role in it, though. I don't remember The Yellow Bastard that much, and I just wa- rewatched Sin City pretty recently. Is that movie good? I've never seen it. Sin City's fucking awesome. Really? Really good. Yeah, it's a really good movie. The vibes are immaculate. Um, He's in some random things, nothing very important. I don't, I don't like his face at all. I don't like anything. About, remember when I called you right in the beginning? And I was like, this guy looks like that dude from the ice cream truck. Yeah, and then, he does. He looks like him. But then when he said his name was Max, I was like, that's the fucking same name as the dude in the ice cream it's truck. His name was Max. Max in the fucking ice cream truck. And they look it's the always same. A Max. It's always a fucking Max. And this guy's a terrible actor. Yeah, he's kind of like god awful. Is he worse than Kiefer Sutherland, though? Or are they like um, on par? I'd say he's worse. Um, yeah. But, okay, no, I have another question. What's that 
uh yeah elizabeth click on her i believe she's in dawn of the dead oh, okay like oh uh, no she's in saw yeah she's in saw she's um yes. um what's her name again addison She's Addison and Saul. She's a chick who puts her hands in like yeah, those, yeah, yeah. the in thing the, with the in needle the in the middle. Yeah, yeah, the razors that you can't bring your mm -hmm. hands back out of. Like they well, just start destroying her. We're on a totally different fucking movie now, but she was looking for the antidote for the mm. toxin that was put into the room. And so it was, it was they're all doing. They're getting syringe. different syringes and yeah. shit. And they're like, oh, this one syringe. might have the She had antidote. to fucking put them in there. I was like, girl, if you don't just. <laughs> Honestly, rip could, your whole hands I, off. I could I'm beat the saw traps, dude. I'm built different. You think you just break it like upward or something or what? Like just break the whole thing? What no, if it's I like I just fuck my shit up and get out of there and at least live? See, no, I'm different. I'd rather just die. See, no, I'd rather live. <laughs> no, I don't. I really don't care. You know, I'm, I was always wondering about that trap too. I was like, did she have to put both her hands in there to get it, or did she just not notice their razor blades? It's been a while since I've seen Saw too. You like, know what? That was stupid though because if I you feel put like... one hand in, you can use your other hand to kind of like push them up a little yeah. bit and then pull your hand out. But if you have both in, then yeah, you're Chinese fucking uh, finger trap. I, I literally don't know why she fucking did that. That yeah. makes so... that I never thought of that. You just have to put one hand in, and then you just yeah. push it up from the bottom, pull your hand out. Got everything. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> See? You kidding me? I knew me? it. You We're built me? different, These bro. These super traps? Built different. You kidding me? We're a super trap getter outer. You kidding me, man? These guys are crazy. Yeah, uh, but at a $4 million budget. It's really all just on the CGI. There's nothing else they could have yeah. spent it on. Yeah, the acting was horrible. Terrible. And I mean, I guess maybe... What's that chick's name again from Even Stevens? Ren. Ren, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was, well, she was Ren Even Stevens. I guess they probably spent money on getting like her titties involved. We see her boobies. We see her boobs. I think this That's is her... what the budget was. That's where she got her boob job at. I think this is her first and only role. For real? Like nude also. I'm pretty a sure. Nude, yeah, probably. Oh no, for real? She's an even Stevens. You're like, wait, this is her first. I was like, for real? You're like, wait a I second. Thought you... I thought you meant like movie wise. Movie with titties out. Basically. I loved Even Stevens so much as a kid, and then once I realized it was her, I was like, oh shit. I watched Even Stevens. And then Stevens. she got naked, and I was like, oh shit. I watched I Even Stevens um, for the first time at your house on mushrooms. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was there for that. Yeah, Bean, <laughs> there was like an episode with Beans and Aliens, and I was just, I was taken for a ride. Yep. I was like, dude, Beans is on an a alien. Roller coaster. I get it. Yeah, for like three hours before that, you were having a bad time. I was having a terrible time that whole fucking day. It was ridiculous. Oh, look, people are complimenting your messy bun. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. It looks like shit. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Has a fairly decent cast, like we said. Has fucking uh, what's her name again? Let me see. Ren was her name's like uh, something Italian. Christy Romano. Romano. Yeah, there you Christy go. Romano. I was like, oh, she related to Ray Romano from Everybody Loves Raymond. She is she is niece. That's his wife. <laughs> <laughs> They're married. He Ew. married Ren from Even Stevens. <laughs> she that... is so beautiful, dude. Yeah, he he's, he's beautiful. She's way out of his league for sure. Completely. He looks like a like. Naked he mole like, rat. He looks like Yoshi a little bit. Like he kind of looks he's like got like that like bulbous nose going. And he's okay, always like, yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> he's like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Do I make sense? Sorry, Ray Romano. Ray Romano, if you're listening, I'm sorry. Anyway, we also have William Cat, who he was Max's dad in this. Remember the dude had the really straight hair with like the slight uh, ponytail on it. You mean Donald fucking Trump? That was Donald Trump. He did kind of look like Donald Trump, but do you know who else that is? Who? That was the dude that took Carrie on a date in Carrie. No fucking way. Remember the dude with the long curly hair that was like, hey, dude, yeah, let's go out. And he got uh, got with the bucket. He gets hit in the head with the bucket and <laughs> dies. Funniest death in the world, by the way. If you get hit in the head with a bucket and you die, that's kind of funny. It's like the banana peel. It's ridiculous. It's like such a banana peel like level <laughs> death. You just get bonked and you're dead. What the fuck? Dude, I just watched Carrie, too. You know what's so weird, too? I feel like he's such a good actor in that. And then when I saw him in this, I'm like, you're easily Dude, the worst actor in this fucking movie. He did so bad. He's like, <laughs> he's like, listen, Max. He's like trying to be like that nice understanding. He's like, hey, so listen, buddy, you want to slice a pizza? No, dude, he's literally Donald Trump because he's like, he's yes. on the phone and he's like, so listen, Max. Because he's enunciating everything and doing these hand movements and everything. You need this. Like, he's a fucking Donald Trump, dude. You can't tell me otherwise. And then the fucking terrible blonde hair. Like, it. that's Donald Trump. It Worst so actor bad. in this fucking movie. What was so weird, too, is the first time you see him, his hair is, like, super straight and, like, this fancy, like, ponytail, like, kind of Oh, wait, up. I and noticed then, that. And then after that, his hair just looks like shit. 
dude it just looks like shit it was so like, straight and nice and i was like what happened to it was that supposed to be uh like funny or something no i think that's like his business look like when he's at work he's like i gotta he puts do a this wig on i don't know that couldn't like have been his wig? hair dude that could not have been his hair his hair is so different did he just get a haircut like midway through the movie and thought it was okay and they're like oh no wait um you still have a couple more scenes to film i remember i saw his picture on imdb and i was like that's not the same hair so maybe that isn't him i was like there's no way like hair that shitty could look that good no, but like so like his what okay i don't I don't think his hair looks good at any point in this movie, but it does look better in the first part of the movie because like the second time that well, like, I guess not the second time, but like the next big scene that he has, his hair is like short. Yeah, it's way shorter. It's, it's like short, frizzy. It's short and he's it's like shitty. old. Yeah. It's so like, where they're it, like, oh, he was wearing a wig. Like His I hair looked like it was but dying. But it doesn't look like a wig. I, like, don't, I really don't get, I don't get it. it. I'm glad you noticed that too because I thought I was just going crazy at first. But dude, I was like, because I was so a lot confused. Better. I was like, wait a minute, is this this? I because dude, this movie is okay. So wait, boring. Wait, first off, do you think this movie's in order? In order, like the scenes and shit. They're jump cutting so. There's so many hard cuts in this where they're like fucking this dude's walking around security and then he'll just like blank over to like some other security guard getting fucked up like in the beginning we'll get to like the specifics of it specifics of it in a little bit but like you start out with fucking max the main character getting in a car crash his fiance dies and all this shit they don't even explain that that well we don't even know who he is and then he's at the therapist and she's like Oh, it sucks that your life sucks. And then it's like, title card, dun, 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 okay. mirrors two. The title card goes for five minutes, and then when the title card finishes, it goes right to this other security guard who's just in, like, basically the same place that Kiefer Sutherland was in and the he's first like, mirrors. Yeah. yeah, and he's walking, he's like, yeah, dude, like, I look, yeah. he literally looks in the mirror and goes, I look man. fucking good. That's what he says. Yeah. You're yeah. a ladies' man. Yeah, I forgot what his name is, like, it started with an S. But. And then we'll get into specifics of how he gets destroyed, but then he gets destroyed, and then it goes to Kiefer Sutherland. I mean, not Kiefer Sutherland. It goes to, <laughs> it goes, it's the same fucking dude. It goes to Max after Nick Stahl or whatever his name is. And it's like, I was like, wait a second. Is this movie even in order? Because after that, it keeps going just like cutting to fucking Max walking around with a flashlight. He's like, oh, this place is kind of spooky. <clears throat> and then it goes to someone else who's getting murdered. It goes back to him back and forth, back and forth. But it's... everything seemed like if you switched it around and put it in like different spots, it might have worked a little bit better. You know what? I don't mind when movies do that because like I. That's kind of like a psychological horror type of thing to do. We are like, oh my God, what's happening? Yeah, and then all of a sudden a in the end. psychological horror. And no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't mind that. Like, I'm used to seeing that in movies. Yeah. In good like, movies. You know, so like, yeah, this was not a good movie. <laughs> so uh, I didn't feel like it was out of order for me, but I don't know, man. It's like what I thought was a mess. Uh, you know, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Okay. The only other person I want to talk about, Evan Jones. I'm gonna, Evan Jones. What else is he in? He's Cheddar Bob in Eight Mile. I fucking he's knew the, it. You you know Cheddar Bob, it. right? You're, I was like, yeah. The he dude shot that his pulls fucking, out the gun yeah, shot his yeah, dick or yeah, his he leg or whatever. Fucking, he definitely I think he shot, shot his dick dude, or his foot. I think he shot his like leg or foot technically in the movie, but when I every time I watch that, I'm like, nah, you shot your dick. Yeah, like, his you dick shot is your gone. dick. <laughs> it shot the fuck off, dude. Okay, so the whole time I didn't really Google anything about this movie. Like, I didn't. What are you doing? Put the gun away. <laughs> I didn't look up anything about this movie, and I was like, "Fuck, that guy looks so familiar. He plays somebody white, fucking trash." Wait, Bree, somewhere else. My intro to him, I didn't realize who it was at first, and I'm just gonna read my notes verbatim. I went in on him, and then <laughs> and then like toward the end of it, I was like, "He looks kind of familiar." Let me see where it is. I was like, "Oh, that's Cheddar Bob." But when I looked at his other credits, like he has like fifty something, maybe sixty credits, like low sixties or something. Huh. But, like, I don't recognize him in anything else, but I was like, that's Cheddar Bob. Like, I know that guy from that for look sure. Him. What's his name? Evan Jones? Evan Jones, yeah. All right, I'm going to look him up real quick. Okay, so he's in this. <laughs> anyway, IMDb, 4.9 out of 10. Rotten Tomato Critics would not rate it. Oh, and then it has a 20% by the audience. Yeah, there's a reason I went in on him. <laughs> um, We'll get that. We'll get to that. Um, <laughs> We'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> 20% by audience, I'm <laughs> inclined to agree with, I guess, the IMDb or the audience. The you, IMDb, you said how much? IMDb has 4.9, so I guess that equates to, like, what, 2.4-ish? Out of 10? An average, that's fine. Yeah. I'm fine with it being that, you know, like, mm -hmm. out of everyone yeah. in the world. Because, you know, there's people that are like, this is a five-star movie, but, like, 
in total, this being 2.5. If there is people out there saying that this is a five-star movie. Do you want me to check right now? I'm going to need... Let me read the first five-star I see on Letterboxd. Well, instead of doing the Letterboxd reviews at the end, I'll just do the first three five-stars that I see right now. I think I could filter this. I could filter this, like, high... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rated, not rated. Popularity. Highest first. Okay. Let's do the first top five. This one's really long. I'm not reading it. Yeah, <laughs> um, fuck that. I love this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Actually liked it. Kind of scary, but I liked it, though. What the fuck does that mean? Actually kind of scary. But, uh, no, actually liked it. Kind of scary, but liked it, though. <laughs> that sounds like they're kind arguing. Kind of scary? You're watching a horror movie. No, that feels like they're arguing with themselves, though. They're like, they're like, resp they're like okay, <laughs> I actually liked it. And then someone's like, kind of scary. And they're like. But I kind of liked it, I though. Liked it, though. <laughs> that reads like two people talking to each other. Rise. But it's one sentence. <laughs> what the hell? Um, I picked this up for $3. Wasn't expecting much, but it turned out to be a nice little gore pack story. <laughs> Rob had to watch bits of it through his fingers. Not bad at all. Who the fuck is Rob? This is D and Rob Glenn. Fuck you, D and Rob Glenn. <laughs> they gave it four stars. They didn't give a fuck. Wait, are there only two people that rated this five stars? Yeah, you, you're going to have to read that long one. Do I have to? Dude, the there's no way that's real. There has to be like some missing or something. This algorithm has to be off. Okay. Mirrors 2 is a 2010 supernatural horror movie directed by Victor Garcia. Okay, we already know that stuff. Uh, it, it's a supernatural murder mystery as the spirit goes on a murderous rampage in this sequel to Mirrors. I only remembered seeing the first half of this movie. I never got around to finishing it, so I took the time today to watch it in its entirety. And I have to say this sequel surpasses the first film. Yeah, obviously. Agreed. That's that doesn't mean anything. The first film, uh, the sequel retains the same style and concept of the first film. Yeah, there's mirrors. <laughs> there are mirrors. You're right. If that's the concept and style you're talking mirrors about, mirrors are in the movie. <laughs> um, and I love the story they thought up for this one. I love the little murder mystery that was incorporated into the movie. The gore in this movie was great. It's more gorier than the first movie. <laughs> I loved it overall. I enjoyed the sequel. I'm so. Did they just say the same thing seven times? I feel yeah. like I'm reading the same they thing. They explained themselves. I love the gore. The gore is cool. It's gorier. I love that it's they're a sequel. They're writing an essay. The sequel is cool. They're writing an essay. No, and they write have to use like at, at least so many characters words. yeah and they're like just rewriting the same statement over I'm, and over i'm surprised there isn't a third movie and after seeing both of these there really needs to be a third they said i'm surprised that there isn't a third movie and after seeing both these films there really needs to be a third film <laughs> <laughs> who is this person they have no likes i'm giving them a like <laughs> Who is this person? Augustin Garcia. Augustin. Agu huh? Augustin. Some fucking nerve. Augustin. Um, wait. Their ratings are ridiculous. Okay. They have seen... Are they just a hold troll? On, hold on. Hold on. They have seen 809 movies and rated 809 movies on Letterboxd. Three of them are half a star. Um... Two of them are a star, two of them are a star and a half, four of them are two stars, three of them are two and a half stars, four of them are three stars, 30 of them are three and a half stars, 24 of them are four stars, 49 of them are four and a half stars, and 686 movies. He's rated five stars. <laughs> this How could you possibly no, watch this that many movies? That's a bot. No, you can watch that. I mean, I have about that many, too, on my letterbox. But God like, damn. That's just movies that you watch. Dude, you've watched more than 800 movies in your life. If you just rated all of them on Letterbox, you'd have like thousands for sure. I watched like sixty this October, so yeah, you literally have this many. But like, how? You're probably right, but no, that sounds insane no, when issue, you say it out loud. The issue is how have you watched eight hundred movies and rated seven hundred of them five stars? <laughs> There's no fucking way. There's I no, have only watched. Hold on, if they've movies. only rated three movies half a star, I need to see. What I, did he rate? I, Scream three. I, that's what I'm. Uh, three star or five stars. What do you expect though? They rated everything five stars. I personally love Scream Three though. I think I think I think I think I rated Scream Three four or four and a half. I would have gave it like a three. I love Scream Three. I think it's one of the best ones. I go uh, especially after the new one. I go one, four, three, two, and then five. Twenty twenty two. That's my rating, and I'm sticking by it. Hmm. Um. Let's see their lowest rate. I know we're on a crazy tangent, but this is just really important right now. Extremely important. Oh, they did the uninvited. They give the nun five stars, paranormal activity five stars, the nightmare remake five I'm stars, done. I'm uh, done. Rob Zombie's Halloween two five stars. Done. Uh, pretty much every movie you can think of is five stars. Oh wait, your rating lowest first. Augustine's rating lowest first. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Teeth half a star. One of the only movies they've rated half a star is Teeth. 
And then Piranha 3D and Dead Sea. Wrong Turn 6 is low. Krampus is low. Okay, a lot of the movies that are bad that are Candy low actually, actually are pretty bad. Except for Teeth. Teeth is not bad. Teeth is not that bad whatsoever. I have seen that movie once and never watched it again. Dude, this is all a bunch of bullshit. Okay, what well. What the fuck is going Alien 3. I don't think I saw that one, actually. Look, basically everything they rated in the world is five star. Um, You're an asshole, Augustine. Augustine, okay, well. if you're listening, go fucking fuck yourself. Bro. Okay, well, anyway, you want to get into mirrors, too? Probably. Probably should. We've wasted enough time. So, starts out with uh, the driving. Uh, this dude's driving with his fiance, and he goes, It was my fault. I was the one driving when it happened. And after the accident, I start, start seeing crazy things that weren't real. <laughs> but me? I'm not crazy. <laughs> weren't real. Me? I'm not crazy. No, Turns out crazy. he killed his fucking fiance. He crashed. Uh, when we find out the story later, can we just say the story now, actually? That's yeah, just let's so just say it now. Fucking because stupid. The, the, her acting can we do the three, is abysmal. Okay, it's terrible. But can we do the three biggest issues? One. You're proposing while you're driving. Two, you're making her get in the back to do it. Three, you're not paying attention to your driving while you're proposing while you're driving. It's and pouring then you rain. Pouring. It's fucking pouring rain. The weather rain. is atrocious. And he's like, yeah, I got it. She's like, you better drive. Dude, perfectly. Because he and looks then, at her and he goes, hey, can you get my phone out of the backpack in the back seat? She's like, okay, yeah. He's like, take off your seatbelt and go get it. She's like, okay, we'll just make sure you drive really well. And he's like, I'm the best driver Why? around town. Why would you propose while driving? I don't get it. Like, the. One part of me felt really sad. I was like, oh, he, like, was about to propose, and then she died. Like, it reminds me of that one song, uh... Oh, I was gonna propose, and then I died. (laughs) Telling me just what a fool I've been. Telling me just propose, and the rain and die. But yeah, um, I was like, oh, man, this is really sad. And then I, I was sitting on my bed, and I'm literally like this on my bed. And I'm like... Wait a fucking minute. <laughs> Stupidest That's thing ever. That's the dumbest shit you can possibly do. Yeah, it's you so feel, dangerous. You feel bad for one second, and then you're like, wait a minute, this guy's a fucking idiot. Yeah, he's stupid, dude. And well, she's really pretty, and he's hideous. He looks terrible. Sir, you, you did this on purpose. The biggest twist of this her. movie is the fact that this guy ever dated anyone. Right. Like, that is just what I don't believe for a second. And you know what? He's going to start getting a love interest later. And remember when he sees her in the beginning of the movie? Like, he sees her, uh, Emanuela or whatever and, her name is. Dude, and they do that, like, whole, like, slow shot where she's, like... Yeah, and then they don't show her at all for the next, like, 20 minutes. Or no, no, I mean the next hour at least. Can I say something? Yeah. What would you say her name was? Um, Emanuela. <laughs> her name is Elizabeth. No, her You're real racist. name. Talk about oh. her real name, idiot. Who's the racist now? You're racist, though. Probably am. Call her Elizabeth. <laughs> I think it might be Emmanuel. Emmanuel. No, I'm not. Or Emmanuel. What's her, what's her name? Wait, I'm on it right now. It's Emmanuel. E- Where? E M M A N U E L L. Emmanuel. I try and pronounce that last name. V- Vagicitis. Vagicel. Vagicel. <laughs> That's it. Got it. Emmanuel. Emmanuel Vagicel. I'm locking in my answer. Yeah, that was her, right? She was she's Addison so from Saw. Yeah, she's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. She's gorgeous, but like it does that slow-mo on her and she like flips her hair and shit. I'm like, oh, great. She's like, so that means she's going to like this ugly piece of shit later yep. in the movie? Yep. And of course it happens, but it's like, why? Why? Just because Dude. he just because he says, I saw your dead sister in a mirror? Could you imagine an ugly person coming up to you and being like, hey, your sister's missing. I saw her dead in a mirror. And just she's like, up. I'm in love with you. Hey, guess what? I saw your dead sister. In That's the what happened. That's exactly what happened. And now we're going to bang. <laughs> and she was dripping, like, dude. Dude. Oh my fucking god. I'm going to skip ahead like a lot, a lot here. But at the end of the movie, like when everything is over, she like embraces him. It's not just a hug. She literally like falls full into him. body embraces. I'm like, bitch, you have known this guy for two days at the most. Yeah. And you're just like and all he, taking him in. All he did was bring you to Cheddar Joe's house who looked like <laughs> fucking... The Nightmare on Elm Street remake yeah. fucking Damn. Freddy Krueger. He looks so bad. That makeup was bad. He looked like shit. That makeup was bad. But not even just to mention that, let's get back into that. Cause I mean, we'll say, let's talk about what happened to him right now. You know what? Let, yep. me, let me talk about how I saw him before I knew he was Cheddar Bob. <laughs> I mean, I really went into this guy. I really went into him. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and monologue for a second. You let's ready? Go. Let's monologue? Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. monologue. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here for it. So when we move back into the movie, we focus on some uh, Neanderthal of a man with a head that's shaped like a boomerang and a chin that could cut through steel beams walking around. Uh, building similar to Mirrors 1 holding a flashlight so we know he's a security guard with a forehead to die for. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> he looks into this mirror and he's like, I'm a lady killer. We already talked about that. But then the other side of the mirror is like killer evil him. And he like he looks at him, he snarls at him, and then he makes the real he's like he makes the real Neanderthal drop his flashlight. And then all the glass breaks and the evil mirror guy grabs the glass from the mirror and then he starts eating it. But when he's eating it, dude, he does this thing where he clenches his fists and he puts them like behind his body and looks at him real intently. And then like, you know, when you're like, I don't. Does anyone know about chewing angrily? When you look into <laughs> someone's soul and you're like, nom, 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 nom. He's doing that, like eating the glass, just looking at it. He's like, yeah, you fucking like that? You like it when I chew this glass? And look, dude, I have so many questions about this. Like, so many. So many. First off, it's the first setup as the first mirrors. Like, it's basically how the first yeah. one opened. Yeah, yeah, It's the same shit. But then, when he's eating this glass, like, it starts ripping through his cheeks his and cheeks. through his neck. How and it's, thick is this glass? But dude, it's full pieces coming through and I'm yeah. like, okay, hold on. So these are my questions. Do you think glass spreads more when you chew it? <laughs> Do you think it grows into bigger pieces? It expands. And expands like, <laughs> yeah, remember those little pills that you would put in like the water and yeah, they would turn yeah, into big old dinosaurs? dinosaurs? I yeah. love those things, yeah. Do you think glass does that? <laughs> Just as soon as it gets wet, just... Dude, because he's chewing it. I'm like, it's not going to come through your throat. Like, like, okay, maybe if you're swallowing it, but I'm like, you just chewed it so much. Full pieces of glass aren't going to come through your throat, like full shards. If I'm not mistaken, he only picked up like a handful oh, of glass. Oh, maybe two pieces of glass at most. Like, and it wasn't like... And there's hundreds of shards going through his neck and his cheeks. Yeah, it's like poking out like... And they're so big, but Everywhere. I'm like, he was chewing. And also, Brie, when he's chewing and looking at him and like holding his fists out, and he's like, yeah, that's right. Is he not doing that for two and a half minutes? Yeah. It's it the is longest so scene ever. long. And the whole time, fucking Cheddar Bob just like, no, stop it. Wait, he's like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> the whole time. Like, bro, you got glass in your throat. You can't scream right now. You got glass in your throat, <laughs> idiot. What are you going to do Call about it? Call me a glass throat. Dude. <laughs> I will, I will say that I did like how much more gory this movie was. I sound like a Gustin right now. You said, I was going like, to say, <laughs> I liked how it was gore and then it got gorier and gorier. Well, no, there was a lot more like blood and shit slicing into things. Because in the first mirrors, all we really got was the fucking, the jaw ripping open. That's really it. And then we got like a fucking uh, nun demon. And then that's so, about it. like a titty fire. Yeah, that's it, but that's not really gore. I want to see blood. The jaw ripping open was literally the only cool part of Mirrors 1. Yeah. The yeah. only cool scene in the whole movie. This movie, there's a lot of gore. It's done bad, but at least there's that. But like, you know what I it feel... does? You know in every sequel like to a paranormal movie or just any like mockbuster paranormal movie that's made where they just do a random pop-up of like a girl, like a demon-looking girl just pops up on you. They're like, ah! Yeah. They're, like comes around the corner. They did that 30 times in this, and the demon that's popping up and doing that is the main character of the movie. Yeah. And it looks like literally just any other mockbuster demon girl you'd see in any other movie. Like, I swear to God, they get the same actress to play in every single movie. Like, American Poltergeist, like, all the paranormal activity, like, you know, mockbusters and shit like that. It's just all some stupid little demon, or even Amityville movies. Yeah. There's just a stupid no, it's little a pale, demon girl. pale, dark-haired woman. Pale, pale dark-haired woman with, like, kind of, like, her hair's a little longer uh -oh. than a bob. Not she me. has, like, some, <laughs> she has, like, some, like, fucking exorcist looking like uh like pussy sores on her face and she's just like Ugh! pussy sores they look like vaginas they always look like vaginas the sores they put on their faces i don't know what kind of vaginas you've been seeing look i mean it's not a great one but i mean i'm just saying like they're <laughs> it's there it's not a great one but i'll take I'm it i'm just saying like it's what's <laughs> happening i'm not saying i'm taking it. i'm saying they'll take it in these paranormal hey, mockbusters yeah i'll take it i won't take any exorcism slander here exorcist slander here okay See, look they don't the, look like linda blair is what i'm saying Gotta give no, it oh, you know, let me Gotta tell you about it. They due. all look like Linda Blair, but it's 2022. Yeah. And they're not changing anything. Step it up. Yeah, so. Step it up. I don't know. Anyway, we head back to the dude who kills his fiance, Max. Um, it was a weird intro to the movie, because like I said, we don't know anything about him, but yeah. like 15 minutes have already gone by and we're just barely struggling. getting back to him. He's just so depressed. And he's, he's seeing things. He's got PTSD. He's really going through it, man. Yeah, I really didn't even understand exactly what he was going through, though. Like, they didn't set up much. They really didn't. They were, they were like, like, hey, oh, his fiance bad, died. Yeah, it's a bad car crash. She died, you know? <laughs> Dude, this guy's having a bad week. Have you... <laughs> you can edit this out later if you want, but <laughs> have you seen that video of that kid who's, like, making fun of ghetto white girls? And he's, like, on a bus, and he's like... <sighs> Who 
driving this bus. <laughs> That's how they crashed. <laughs> like literally, I feel like I know the, what you're talking the about. shot of the girl like getting in the car crash, like his fiance getting in the car crash. She's like, <laughs> and then she's dead. Like what? She died. What? We should die. No, I'm talking about the movie now. Oh, the movie. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought like, you were still talking about the video. I was like, of, oh. Like, as soon as she, like we got that shot in the beginning of her like going back and forth, I was like, who driving this bus? <laughs> that shit fucking killed me, dude. Okay, carry on. Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> so anyway, he gets a call from some high-powered business guy um, with Lord Farquaad hair disguised with a slight ponytail who turns out to be his father, which is also the guy from Carrie. Which is also Donald Trump. Also Donald Trump. He's scolding him about, like, stonks or something. And then he gets into work. He's a security guard at some, like, I don't know, it's like a firm or a startup or some shit. I really don't know what they're doing there. It's the Mayflower. It's supposed to be a boutique. Okay. What have you ever seen a boutique look like that? I, never. Um, yeah. <laughs> So something absurd happens. Uh, his father introduces him to three people and he goes, this is uh, Jenna McCarty, which is even Stevens, uh, Kim Possible's uh, Christy Romano. And then he goes, oh, that is Kim Possible. Yeah, too. she's Kim Possible, too. You saw Kim Possible's titties in yes. this, bro. That is Kim Possible, yes. which is crazy. Yes. I always wanted to jerk it to I Kim Possible. <laughs> and like I was able to do it today. <laughs> Kim Possible, Ron Stoppable, baby. Thanks, you think Ron Stoppable was Cheddar Bob? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Agree. For sure. In the world of Possible and Mirrors, yeah. It's definitely him. <laughs> anyway, he goes, this is Jenna McCarty, and then he goes, this is Keller Leandro, and then he couldn't say the name for his life. He was like, Keller... Kill the Lalandrix. They were trying to give him like a like a fucking uh, like Cajun or a fucking Creole like last name. And I'm Crayola. Like, this is a fucking this is a white man. A Cajun or a Crayola <laughs> kind of name. Christ, man. And then he gets to the fucking last guy and he goes, Ryan, Ryan, oh, uh, what's your name again? He goes, Parker. And I'm like, you remember Leandro? Like you didn't do it well, but I was like in McCarty, but you couldn't remember Parker. He was like, Parker. oh, what's your name again, of buddy? Of all things. He literally looks like a Parker. Yeah, for sure. I was like, oh, hey, what's up, Peter Parker? <laughs> what's up, man? So, what's up, Tony McGuire? Mirrors proves pretty early on that it's going to be the same as, you know, any of these other ones because he got CGI pop-ups over and over again. Oh, yeah. And this is like the 30-minute point where, like, Max just starts walking around and then he keeps seeing visions of, like, people dying or whatever. Kind His... of like Kiefer Sutherland did before, but it's different. It's like, for some reason... The visions he's seeing of these people dying looks 10 times more absurd than it does when they're actually dying. <laughs> because they're not just like dying, like, uh, uh, they're like, uh, they're like, doing it to themselves. Yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Even Stevens, Wren, she rips her head off and it's like she's doing like a happy tree friend skit. Dude. And then fucking uh, uh, Parker rips his intestines out and pulls them out and like shows it to him and he goes like, Ugh, and he looks like fucking <laughs> Billy from Thanks Killing. <laughs> Like, it's just so absurd. Dude, uh, Caleb was FaceTiming me yesterday. The way you said my name right now, I thought you were talking about, like, a different entity. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, who? He was FaceTiming me yesterday while I was watching this movie, and I was fucking dying oh, yeah. laughing. The, he the head. At the head being ripped off, because she straight up just, like... <laughs> she rips her own head off, and then when it actually happens, like, the scene actually happens, I fucking lost it dude it was crazy dude she got titty teen it was this fucking self guillotine dude yeah it dude. was insane it was it was cool though i guess it wasn't self it was more like shower guillotine well i mean like she did it to herself kind of i mean i guess the mirror did who's in that mirror man herself you're right it's evil waluigi <laughs> isn't Isn't he already yeah evil? <laughs> waluigi's evil it's the evil one though <laughs> It's his evil twin brother. So before all that happens, Max turns into a secret agent man and he gets on a computer and he looks at a live bathroom monitor. Dude, disgusting. What was up I with that? So how, are we, that. how are we supposed to believe that this is the good guy the whole movie after we saw him like, <laughs> he's he's, like dude, he's looking at the bathroom and he goes at like some, and monitor. I think it's Jenna. I think it's the Ren from even Stevens, yeah. right? Yeah. She goes to wash her hands. He goes, you dirty dog, you. And I'm like, what are you dirty. talking about? She's well, washing her no. hands. Okay, right there he was talking about, um, what's his name? Henry. Uh, 
Fucking eight mile dude, Cheddar Bob. Cheddar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because yeah. he had the cameras in the yeah, bathroom, or what? Yeah, he had the cameras in there. He's like, cameras oh. in the bathroom, dude. The way I caught dog. that, I was just but like, you're watching it. Dude. Yeah, you're watching it, and you're like, he was definitely getting his jollies off to it. Yeah. He was so happy about yeah. it. He was great. He happened to be there. And I'm supposed to believe that this guy. And she's this... just washing her hands, though. I don't get it, dude. She's washing her hands. He's like, you dirty dog. <laughs> what, are you what the fuck, man? What are you talking about? Like, I don't know. I like. This was probably like 15 minutes in the movie, and I never was on this guy's side after that. How am I no. ever supposed to be on his side after I see him do that? He's just like, I want um, my mirrors to stop being haunted, so I'm going to figure this out so I can live my life without my mirrors being haunted. Okay, but Kiefer Sutherland did that. Too. He, he just pulled out a gun on everything, though. But Kiefer Sutherland did it for his family, at least. This guy's just like, uh, it's an inconvenience. <laughs> right. I want it to stop. Yeah, at least Kiefer. And Sutherland. I could probably hook up with this chick. So at least Kiefer blew up that nun for his family. <laughs> like when you really think about it, he blew up that nun for uh, like family, like for um, <laughs> for Fast and Furious. He did it for Vin Diesel. For family, <laughs> definitely. Holy shit! Okay, so after that travesty, Christy Romano pulls out her titties, and then you know Max, like we said, you watch him, we watch her rip his. That rip instantly her head off. made a. Uh, this movie way better than the first the titties? one. titties? Yeah. Ren, dude, I've had a crush on her forever. She's hot I as fuck. I can see her boobs. She's hot as fuck. I told Miguel immediately. He said, oh, this is all part of Lewis's plan. <laughs> <laughs> some elaborate plank by Lewis. Nah, I think, plank, Be I think Beans prank. did it. Beans always wanted some titties. It's always Lewis, man. It's always Lewis. That's fair. But we see her titties. Yep, it's great. We see her head come off, but that's, that's not time. real. So we go back to real stuff, and then Jenna, she like... Cuts herself in the shower while she's shaving, and then she sees her evil self in the mirror, and her evil self is like, she like force pushes the shower <laughs> glass to break, and then it explodes. Like, dude, why was the, why was the cut on her leg so fucking gnarly? It was a bad razor. She had one of those like Dollar Tree like one blade razors. Uh, dude, but she's like literally shaving her legs. She's going straight, and all of a sudden she's like, oop. And it's like huge, like upper leg. It's at least four inches. It's pretty. It's, just it's like bleeding like crazy. It's definitely bigger than the size of her razor. Dude, that made me fucking flinch. Really? Literally, I was like, I hate cutting myself while shaving. I could literally handle anything. I could watch fucking beheading videos. If I cut myself while shaving, I'm like, I'm about to throw up. I don't know what. Did I send you that picture of when I cut my balls? Yeah, you did. It was a good stuff. Didn't appreciate huh? it. It was good stuff. Did not appreciate it. Good stuff. But she cuts herself. She falls through the glass shower door, and then um. Yeah, the top of the glass just kind of gets loose and then falls and destroys her head. Cause she like f she like slips on a towel. She's like, <laughs> and then she's laying on like and the she ledge. She slips on a f on a towel and she like falls back on like the the thing, and then the glass is already broken. The glass is already broken, and she's like, <laughs> and then it just fucking comes down and chops her head clear destroys off. Destroys her. I thought I thought that was a pretty cool kill. It wasn't bad. It was like some final destination cool. kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, it was cool. I I enjoyed it. It was entertaining. I guess you could say. That's the thing. Nothing in this movie is good, but a lot of things are entertaining yeah. for sure. Yeah. So that's fine. So now Max tells his therapist that he's worried about mirrors and she starts to talk to him about like spectrophobia, which is the fear of mirrors. And then she's like, yeah, it's normal for you to have a genuine hatred of all mirrors and for demons to stare at you on occasion. The like, third she pretty worst much, actor in this movie. She's terrible too. But she pretty much just like said everything that was going on with him was fine. I was like, you're, you're saying all of this is okay. I was like, this dude's a fucking freak. What are you talking about? He's not okay. Freak. <laughs> Big Freako. <laughs> Freako. <laughs> and then she just Freako nasty. <laughs> stop. Freako nasty. You gotta stop. So <laughs> oh, that's a good one. So then when it just starts like jump cutting in between a bunch of other people like mm -hmm. having visions and dying and this that blah blah blah, it basically becomes a trope. That every time someone's about to die, he sees a vision of them dying before it actually happens. It's like that's so Raven. He's like, <laughs> he's Raven Simone. <laughs> like, Ray, what did you see? He's like, oh, this dude's about to get fucking got. He looks at the dude. camera and it goes, boom. <laughs> it's a future I can see. So serious to me. <laughs> Oh yeah. So this is when he sees Ryan holding all of his intestines and screaming like he literally just looks at him in the mirror and then Ryan like is holding all of stuff. He goes, ah! <laughs> he, What happened? And then Max is like, I gotta save him. <laughs> he runs all the way there. Well no, 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 no. He calls him, he doesn't answer, and he's like, 
I gotta slowly jog all the way over there. <laughs> he just goes, he's, he's like, like fast walking over there. Got a blast. Brain blast. Slowly walks. <laughs> and when we look back at Ryan, this mirror dude's popping out, interrupting his steak dinner. And then he looks back at him in the mirror and his evil dude is holding a steak knife. <laughs> and he's just like, get you, dude. <laughs> and then Ryan looks back and he goes, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. It was the same depiction. Yeah. He goes, oh. Uh, he, no, at first he's like, what? Yeah, what? he's so confused. What? I Okay. I, I know what part you're going to say right now. Why go for the Achilles? <laughs> the way he like, the way evil him bent down, it was like still he's like, staring. He's still staring at good right at like, like he doesn't break eye contact. He's going down. He's like looking him dead like in the eye. It's like almost sensual. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to fuck him, but he's going down. He's like, yeah. you see what I'm about to do? He's you're like, gonna, you see what I'm about to do? You're going to like this, You are huh? not going to be able to walk I'm gonna right now, I'm going to get your funny part. <laughs> it took him way too long to fall. Dude, he cuts Your him. Achilles is fucked, dude. You can't do anything. He finally cuts him, and then you see the slit, like, you know, happen just, like, without the knife on Ryan. Too. And then Ryan goes, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he falls down. He goes, no, don't do it yeah. again! Yeah. And then and then he, like, literally, the evil Ryan bends down and ever so sensually stares at him again and then and just slowly the cuts the other one. And Ryan's like, stop it! Don't. I hate anything to do with the Achilles. I hate it too, hate but honestly, it. this was so funny. I did not give a shit. I hate it so bad because, like, even sometimes, like, when I have to step on my tiptoes to, like, reach something, my Achilles will crack and I immediately gag. Ugh. I immediately fucking gag. That shit. Uh, uh, what about don't. the intestines? Because he finishes it open by cutting his stomach and then just pulling out the intestines. Yeah, but, like, dude, I was upset because, like, in the whole, like, um,. Max's vision thing like he's like holding his intestines like they're out of his body and then when he gets killed they're just kind of like he's just sliced up he's just sliced up like the mirror like, him was kind of pulling out the intestines but then kind the, of but not really kinda, we didn't not get as the much. whole shot not as much as the like, other one it would have been really cool if he was dying and like held his intestines it was like Ugh. well because when ryan did it in like the flashback it was really like comical him holding his intestines and then when it happened like for real it was like okay i don't know about that yeah yeah, yeah. It looked kind of lame. And the whole time, Max just jogging over to the house. And then when he gets there, and fortunate for him, there's a fucking, like, a couple detectives there. He didn't make it in time. He's dead. Yeah, he's But gone. then, like, the cops are like, you're here? You got he's a security a badge? badge? That's, That's right. Him. That's right, get bud. Him. <laughs> get him. Get him. School him. <laughs> Scold him. Put, put him Scold in, him from afar. Put, put him in the school of hard knocks. <laughs> Okay, we had to stop for a second because it was really hot. I was really sweaty. I had Extremely to change my shirt. Sweaty. Yeah, it was kind of rough. I'm still sweaty. Anyway, he calls his dad and he quits his job and he immediately gets off the phone and then he looks at some shit on the sidewalk and sees like a ghostly image of his dad, like literally <laughs> in some shit. Like I swear to God, he was looking at like some piles of shit on the ground. He was like, and oh my, like, my dad's about to lose his eyeballs. That's my dad. <laughs> gonna get spooned out dude he has like yeah melon like, balled right they're out melon balled out and then it has like some little like crow's feet like slashed into like the sides of his eyes Christ. what the fuck was going he's on like, with Daddy, that no and then he starts slow jogging to yeah. his dad's house he's like, i gotta go but somehow he makes it he saves his dad's life yeah which also i didn't get how come he just looks at the mirror and the mirror is like i'll get you later you fuck so, wait, I, yeah no that's what i don't understand is how come, like, the dad can just, like, look, like, turn his back to the mirror and then it's all over? Yeah, I think everyone else had Why to, like, acknowledge it at some that? point or something, but it seemed like he wasn't looking at it. But then, I don't know, I feel like it was still going to get his dad, or at least I got that vibe. But then, right when Max showed up, it was like, I can't do it with Max looking. No, well, not okay. with this guy here. <laughs> It was like he was scared of Max. Like, Max was like, I, I was getting the vibe that Max was the chosen one or something like that. And like... For some reason, right? Because, right? okay, spoiler alert. The person that's doing this inside the mirrors is... Um, the hot girl's younger sister who went missing. The hot girl's younger sister and who also, went missing after working there. She went missing Why? two months ago. How did all of this start two months ago? Because this isn't tied to the other mirrors. I was like, maybe it'll tie in somehow, but I'm like, wait. So she went missing two months ago, died in there. We'll get into the specifics a little bit, but in a little bit, that is. Um, but like, how did she go missing two months ago and now all of a sudden she's right? the fucking mirror god? How? What? I just... Okay, you're... The girl in the mirrors. I forgot what her name is. It'll come up later. Elaine. Or, or Eleanor. Eleanor. Eleanor, yeah. Eleanor, you are trying to get help from this man. 
through the mirrors. And you are scaring the ever-loving shit out of him. And you're about to kill his dad. That's not how you get help, girl. That is not how you get help from somebody uh, living. What the actual fuck? What were you thinking? Like, oh yeah, I'm just going to kill his dad and then he'll for sure help me. That's not how that works. Sorry, got Pepper got stuck in some cables right now. Yeah, I was trying happens. To, I was trying to help him out. <laughs> <laughs> he likes going in weird spots. Pepper being my wiener dog, for anyone that doesn't know. <laughs> what were we talking about, Brie? I was talking about how Eleanor is looking to Max for help, even though she's killing everybody around him and being terrifying. Is she even... Uh, the, yeah, she's not looking for help, dude. I don't know what her goal is. I don't no, know what she's No, she's literally she's like, to do. you have to uncover this. But also, even when... The whole thing is that this uh, Landro, or whatever the fuck his name is, mm -hmm. uh, Kepler, or Kepler Kiefer, or Landro, or something like that. Kefer, or whatever the fuck his name yeah. is. He's the one who fucked her over. Yeah. He's the one who she doesn't like, but for some reason she's killing everyone else. Like, I mean, every, I guess she I, did I mean, kill... She killed the other people who were involved, too. Involved they set, in Yeah, it. they set her up. Yeah. But, like, I kind of feel like... You know what, now that I think about it? Never mind. She wasn't really setting Max up. I guess Max was kind of the keeper. Yeah, like, she was like, oh, wait, you have to help me. Like, why? Why him? You know what? No, no, no. Let me bring it back. Like, number one, why, why did she him? fuck up Cheddar Bob? What did he do? Cheddar Bob helped hide stuff. Wait, did he? The body? Yes. He did helped he really? hide the body. He helped cover it up with the furnace. He knew what happened. He deleted the security videos from the computer. Oh, I thought she possessed him to do that. Okay, maybe I kind of lost the Cheddar Bob uh, timeline. Yeah, I think you did. A little bit. I think you did there. Okay, because so they Cheddar literally Bob did... say it at the end of the movie. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. You're bad at this. You know what? <laughs> you know what? You know what, You're Eleanor? Bad at this movie. Maybe Eleanor was in the right. How do I not take notes and I know more about this movie? Look, here's the thing, dude. Cheddar Bob, I kind of started ignoring his timeline after the glass started poking out of his cheek and his throat. Yeah, was... Cheddar Bob didn't have the greatest. Uh the greatest outcome there well even when they go to his house i think we already talked about them going to his house right or is that coming no. up soon yeah, oh no we, we didn't that's coming up soon yet. well they're gonna go to his house and he's just gonna cry the whole time he's gonna be like and he's like <laughs> and he's coughing, coughing up blood and i'm like how long ago did this happen dude get your throat fixed he looks like he's scarred and he's still coughing up blood like his it just happened face yesterday is so fucked up scarred but it kind of looks like acne scars more than like glass cutting through your fucking jaw scars you can tell there's like lines and like you know there's cuts the makeup and blah is blah bad. blah but it does not look good the special effects makeup is so bad you can tell there's a layer of shit over his actual face yeah like actual with like shit. stuffed like cut into i don't even know it just looks bad really bad <sighs> okay let me see where am i where am i at in these note boys is this did we already talk about the detectives no, we didn't. Did we a little bit, maybe? We could probably cut Perhaps. that. There were detectives. Yes. <laughs> there's one one cop, and then there's another cop. <laughs> there's two cops. Dead air. Hello? Did we talk about the just detectives yet? When they come up to him and they start talking to him about like, like after. Remember that they came are you up drunk. No, I'm just really trying to figure out where we are and like because <laughs> we kind of like say. went ahead a lot. Um, Remember because they come up to him, they talk about like, hey, uh, what the fuck is Isabel? My coworker. Fuck her. Um, fuck off, Isabel. Because the detectives accuse him. Like, remember they don't talk to him. They just kind of look at him. They're like, that's our fucking guy. Well, no, because the last thing I remember saying about the detectives is when he showed up to that one dude's house after he got okay. murdered, and they're like, hey, badge, check him. Okay. After he leaves, that's when he was talking about. Oh, did we ever even get back to the mirror thing with the dad? We didn't, right? Dude, I don't know. I don't think we did. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, well, I don't think we really mentioned the whole dad pizza cutter thing. Like we're we start, terrible at this. We, I know, guys. We just had like a couple minutes where we we're like, "What the fuck well, are we talking about?" Because so right now we have talked about the in, like 
pretty the much the whole the movie, part. but now we have to go through like yeah, we just kind of like scenes. bounced around a little yeah. bit. So okay, look, the dad, the mirror, the mirrored evil dad is behind him. This movie sucked to talk about because it's like oh, <laughs> evil mirror guy, good evil non-mirror mirror. Mirror some guy. Spoons in your... Yeah, he tried to put the fucking Pop pizza cutter in his eye. And then that's oh, when fucking pizza cutter. it was a pizza cutter. I thought it was a spoon. He his eyes looked like they were spoon, but Did they were. Did she weren't. give you a spoon? Did she give you a spoon? <laughs> that's an inside joke that no one would understand. Anyway, <laughs> so Max shows up. He goes, "Yeah, you can't kill him." We mentioned that like ten times, but didn't get yeah, past that. And then Dad's like, "What? You want a slice of pizza, son?" <laughs> no, no, no. And then Max is like, "I changed my mind. I, I will. I, I will be. Quit. I will be a security guard. I, I will quit. be there." I will be there for you, Dad. Just don't melon ball your own eyeballs out, okay? We're good. And, and then when he leaves his dad's house, we're introduced to really the most intense and least informed detectives of all time. Oh, they're yeah. The they're the ones like, that accused Max of being the murderer they're earlier. They're like, we saw you there. You were there. You have got to be the murderer. I but, know you killed him. And he goes, actually, no. And he's no. like, actually? He's like, actually? <laughs> I have an explanation for all of this. And they're like, oh, shit, he's right. <laughs> That's all they do. Once he said he has an explanation, <laughs> they're like... going off for like five minutes and the detectives are like... You know what's so weird, too? The detectives <laughs> the are doing point? a good cop, bad cop thing. And yeah. they kind of mention it later because later in the movie, I know I said we're yeah. stop bouncing around, but we're bouncing around again. Later... <laughs> They look at each other and they go, oh, we didn't even have to do good cop, bad cop this time. We did, we did good, good cop, cop, good, good cop. cop. Look at us. We're just some good cops. But right Said here, no when, they're, when they're talking to He's Max, like- they're going back and forth. Like one of them be like, so we knew you were. And then I'll go to the other guy <laughs> at the corner doing bad things. And the other one is like, and that's how we came to. And the other one goes, this conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> that's me and you, dude. <laughs> this conclusion and then all all max says is no <laughs> he's like no actually um i called him and if you did your detective work you would see that i called him right before he was Check murdered the records, i don't have pal. enough hands to murder and call somebody at the same time look you think i could call them and jog at the same time i went step I after cannot. step i would run out of breath <laughs> Think of the logistics here. There's so much going into this <laughs> equation, and you don't even know how to do math. Are you trying to blame me? Did you graduate high school? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> well, Mr. Detective. Mr. Big Strong Detective. <laughs> <laughs> this is a disaster. I this my pants. <laughs> Dude, Did you graduate wait, high school, wait, but do, idiot? But do you remember when one of them looked at him and he went, do you know, even know about the homicide? He went, no, homicide is. Ho- hom- homicides, multiple. <laughs> that was real dialogue that was in the movie. Like, they sounded more fucked than we are at any given time. I'm fucking crying. Oh, I can't. shit. Uh, when I, graduate high school. I don't idiot. know. I don't know what I wrote right here, but I wrote one of them talks like I imagined a turtle would. <laughs> it's I true. think I think it was the guy with the slight mustache that kept the one that was trying to be the good cop. Maybe I don't know which cop he was trying to be. They were so the bad. Slight mustache. The diet mustache. The slight mustache. It was on slight turtle. Turtle mode slightly activated. Oh fuck! Oh my god, my stomach hurts. So yeah, he calls him stupid. He's like, I'm, I'm going away. I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> I'm I, not stupid. He's like, I got a <laughs> box to get to with an ID in it. Why is this guy a better detective than anyone else? But like, he doesn't do anything. He just shows up to random spots. He's like, this computer has all my information and bathroom cameras. Hacking and, the FBI. Yeah, and then he goes. Also- this, <laughs> and then he goes this other file, and he's like, look at this ID card and all the information I need to find about whatever's going on. What are you fucking talking about, dude? I have so much information. And he looks like such a fucking ugly piece of shit that I'm like, how do you know things? (laughs) Ugly people don't know things. It's ridiculous. Ugly people are always stupid. (laughs) Always. (laughs) Fuck, dude. I can't. And also, I don't even know how he knows that Eleanor's a ghost. 
How did he come to any conclusion? <laughs> he goes on a computer a few times. He's like, here's an ID. Here's a bathroom camera. And then he's like, this girl must be a ghost. She's dead. She must be a mirror <laughs> ghost that's haunting things. I got to learn more. What are you talking about? Okay, did I miss anything there? Or is that actually what happened there? Like, is that another thing that I just missed? Wait, wait. You got to say that slower. I'm still laughing. Okay. At some point in the movie, I'd say like 45, 50 minutes in maybe, he just knew that the Eleanor chick, you know, the sister of Elizabeth, the younger sister that's haunting the place, the chick in the mirrors. Well, I mean. Look, he finds out he, she's a she ghost. She looks like a corpse. Okay, I know that, but how does he know he's not crazy? His therapist has been saying, oh, well. That's you, true. You know what? You know what? Never mind. His therapist has been making everything that he does seem okay. He's, yeah. he's like, oh, you see demons and mirrors. That oh, sounds like a good day. Oh, you see dead people? That's normal. What the fuck are you talking about? That's None of this is normal, dude. None of this. He died and then came back okay. and now seeing dead people. Here's the question I want to ask. He needs more than a therapist. How does he know all the information he does? But Because I feel like 45, 50, maybe even 55 minutes in, he just starts walking up to Elizabeth and spouting <laughs> out everything about the movie. He's like, this chick is your ghostly like, sister that's stuck in the mirrors and she's hunting people down doing this and that. Your sister is dead. Something terrible happened to her and now we got to go see uh, what happened. Are you coming with me? First off, this guy isn't even smart. No, he's not. I don't think he can put pieces together. How does he know she's a ghost? How does he know all... Because he's not walking around like, maybe this is the thing. He's like, this is for fucking certain. <laughs> she's a ghost in a mirror. And he doesn't know <laughs> he any... He calls her. He's like, I need your help with something. Dude, and he doesn't know background story and from the last movie. she's just going for it. None of it's tied in. So how? She's how? just... Dude, I, I was waiting for that, actually. I was waiting for him to be like, oh, wait, um, let me Google the Mayflower. Or whatever, and see what happened to Kiefer Sutherland. Never in the last happened. Movie. Never happened. They probably couldn't use Never Kiefer Sutherland's happened. name. He was gonna sue them. Yeah, he was probably he was gonna like, sue. You can't use the name yeah. Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer Rupert, fucking the long ass fucking name that he has. Oh, I forgot about that. Is yeah, that one of just those names. Google things? Like when you look up Fifty Cent, it's like Fifty Euronymous Cent. No, no, this is his real name. Or when you look up uh, like MGK, and it's like Machine Gun uh, Kaleidoscope. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Okay. No, Rupert. it's still here. What is it? Kiefer William Frederick Dempsey George Rufus Sutherland. Okay. It's still here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to Google Kiefer Sutherland full name and see what happens. Anyway, as for the movie. Yeah, it's the same. That's ridiculous. George Rufus. Fuck you. <laughs> He walks out and he immediately just walks up to a pole that has a missing poster and says, Eleanor. And he goes, oh, I got to call his sister. He calls his sister. What? what? What's wrong? No, he's just like, I know that. Oh, he's wiggling his <laughs> finger. He's like, I've seen this before. I got to call her up. But that's when I started questioning everything. And I'm like, wait, so if you're still finding that missing poster thing, this couldn't have happened that long ago because it would be gone. Yeah, it's two months ago. How does it happen two months ago? It's not tied to the other movie. And all of a sudden she's trapped in a mirror. What is the? It's just because it's at the Mayflower? It's just so fast. I guess Mayflower mirrors are haunted. They don't explain the things that they should whatsoever. Yeah, they don't explain it. They really just focus on... Which I'd really rather them not, because I feel like the explanation yeah. would be so fucking stupid. But at the same time, would it be any worse than the first one? No. Because I think we had to cut this part, or the part where we mentioned it, but this is somehow not better than the first one, but it's more entertaining. It's It so made it's me laugh. I got to see Ren's boobs. So... Mm -hmm. I don't remember what I rated uh, Mirrors the first one, but this one definitely gets half a star, at least, above that. That's exactly how I rated it. So I rated Mirrors 1, one star, and I rated this a star and a half. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so we should probably touch on maybe a couple more things, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we already pretty much said everything, but... Um, he finds a missing person for Eleanor. This is when he meets up with Elizabeth, and I'm like, oh, great, you guys are in love. Mm -hmm. Thank fucking God that uh, another beautiful person <laughs> is in love with the biggest piece of shit. With a dog-faced man. An ugly motherfucker. <laughs> but, um, we start to see flashbacks in the car scene. Are you tired, bud? A little bit. Yawning, yawning. Are you okay? I'm tired. It's abuse. Don't touch me. <laughs> You saw that? It was abuse. <laughs> you awake up, bud. <laughs> we got there. All right, come on. Okay. So he sees this flashback of his fiance exploding. And he's like, oh, that really sucks. But we talked about all of that. So his fiance explodes. That's now in the storyline. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then when the hot girl goes, oh, so she died in a car crash, he goes, we both did. 
we both did. And apparently, I guess point, he did. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off a little bit here. At this point in the movie, I was like, don't fucking tell me at the end of the movie, everybody in this movie is fucking dead, actually, and living in the mirror dimension, actually. That's what I immediately thought. I kind of feel like that's what happened, but I is was it like, not? It's so cheap. It's not, right? Or is it's it? It's not. That's not what happened. It kind of felt like but for some so reason scared. that is what was happening, though, right? I like, was so scared that that was going to happen. I was like, oh, look, fuck. you're right, because it doesn't end like that. But even when it ended, I was like, am I somehow missing something? And is he in it? Like, I was just trying to think back. I was like, was there any time that a handprint was like flipped or something? <laughs> and they're like, dun, dun, dun. And, like, and he sees everything backwards. Like, yeah. You know, like the end of the there first mirrors where he's like, oh, everything's backwards. Words are backwards. I was yeah, like, no. maybe I'm missing something. No, there wasn't. And it's just me, okay, one. you know, half a extra half a star for that. There you That's go. That's good. Yeah. Um. Okay. We should talk about the whole twist of the thing. I guess though, the whole twist yes. is that what's his fucking name? I forgot his name. It's like Kleber or something. Keller. Keller. His name's Keller. Pretty much, Max finds out that he has to go into a crawl space to find bad things, and Elizabeth is right behind at him. At one point. At what point? In the movie, are there like, are they like, oh, we have to crawl into the basement? When do they, they never make say that? that. They just end up there. I remember him saying, the basement. That's it. And then all of a sudden, they're crawling through the basement. Yeah, he like came to the conclusion that a basement existed, and then all yeah. of a sudden, they're just at a basement crawling into this blueprints. little crawl space. There's a and basement. then Gotta go. you see someone in the camera area, and then it's fucking Keller. Like, we don't yeah. see him at first, but he ends up in the room. He handcuffs fucking, uh, what's her face? Elizabeth. Or, yeah, he handcuffs Elizabeth. She's, like, duct taped. Yeah, she's thing. not it's even not handcuffed. Even handcuffed. It's, yeah. like, it's like a, like, really cheap zip tie or something like that. Yeah. And it's she, like scotch tape. And she just... <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's definitely scotch tape. And she just breaks right out of it. She <laughs> leaves. And he goes, oh my god, no. And he sticks his gun in the crawl space. Just starts shooting so blindly. So chaotic. Just starts shooting. So fucking chaotic, dude. Runs the other way. For a boutique. For a fucking boutique. You're gonna kill like, somebody? What was that? For a boutique. And then he's he like, no, this has <laughs> everything on the fucking line. Uh, then, my job, my career is on the line. Bitch, it's a boutique. Well, he did hide a body in there. Yeah, no, I know he did, but I'm <laughs> saying, like, why why kill somebody for a fucking boutique? It's very fair. It's not. I mean, no, no, At that. All. Not the him killing them, just him, I guess. I don't know. It's all fair in the eyes of this movie, stupid. Gotcha. Makes sense. But he starts shooting blindly in there, and then Max looks around, and he goes, oh, there's the body right over there. There she is. That's the boy. The girl. That's the girl right there. She's dead. <laughs> That's the guy. There's our guy. Take him out. <laughs> then they gotta just run out. They beat Keller's ass. Dude. Send him into the ghost dimension. Like they get like fucking. They get like them to do like a demon jutsu or something, well, and then like take fucking Keller into the ghost dimension. Well, the whole thing with Keller is like the missing girl was. He raped her. Yeah, he's he a piece of her. shit. Uh, Ren from Even Stevens, and then the other dude drugged her like together and they were like have fun and so when she was like too fucked up to walk like he raped her and then she woke up like mid rape well they set and her was up like no 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 yeah even steven's girl roofied her yeah. and then she was like hey my friend keller's gonna take you home yeah he brought her over to like the warehouse i think at the mayflower yeah. and then he raped her and then when she tried to get away he choked she, her to death yeah no she woke up and she was like no 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 and she started running away and he's like looking for her and he's like, no, you like, you don't understand what I have on the line. Once again, it's a fucking boutique. <laughs> you just raped a fucking woman, you Over full grown man. And yeah, he chokes her to death. And the whole time where he's like trying to choke like Elizabeth, like her sister, he's like getting flashbacks of like choking Eleanor and all this fucking crazy shit. But yeah, at the but end of the she movie. she survives, Max shows up. He goes, hey, Max I'm shows up you. and he literally grabs him by the shoulders and was like, hey. And then he's, like, on Stop Eleanor's that. side, and Eleanor's like, I'm gonna take him into the ghost dimension. Yeah, no, yeah, like, the mirror, like, the whole time, like, uh, Max and, what's his name? Keller are, Keller. like, fighting. There's, like, handprints on the mirror. They're, like, banging up against the mirror, and he's like, oh, I gotta get Keller over to that mirror. So he beats his ass all the way to the mirror, and then he gets sucked in the mirror dimension and murdered. Great. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. And then he died. And that whole thing went by so fast. It was like, Keller was introduced to the villain. He died within two seconds. And then the movie was over. Yeah. And then and then that's when she, like, embraced him. When Emmanuel uh, embraced him. 
Yeah, she embraces him because she was like, oh, I'm glad my sister blew up the mirror with Keller inside of it. Now they I'm all blew up. so glad my sister's dead. And then the very end, Cheddar Bob is in the investigation room and he confesses that he deleted like, video evidence. This part was so unnecessary. This was, like, I remember him saying he deleted the video evidence and stuff here, but I didn't know that he was like yeah. hiding it or whatever. I thought he was just possessed or this some shit. This part was care. so fucking unnecessary. That's what I'm saying. It was. I thought the movie was already over because it faded out and it took a while for this to come and up. And doesn't he like the, the glass is cracking at the end, at the end of the movie? And he looks like, at the glass hello, Illinois. it starts cracking, uncracking, cracking, uncracking yeah. and then eventually he's like hello and then he goes he's so like, I'm pretty sure Eleanor. he died, yeah, right? Yeah, he dies. He got killed. Sure. Everybody who was involved with the rape and murder of Eleanor was killed in the movie. This had zero ties to the first mirrors. Zero. Whatsoever. So it had six kills, and I'm including Eleanor's death, and then also Cheddar Bob's death. He mm -hmm. should have fucking died the first time. The fact yeah. that he, the fact that they started this like that, Why did he live? and then he lived was so stupid, dude. Like just kill him. I guess they needed him to like figure out the plot or whatever. I guess. I don't know. Stupid. One on the boob count. Uh, mirrors one sucked. Mirrors one or mirrors two also sucked, but somehow it's a little. It's not better. better. I like that you just picked your nose on camera. I'm sorry. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> no, I'm actually so proud I of you. We were this like, is like yeah. a proud moment. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> right after I was like, <laughs> I've definitely done that too. So I know it's not just no, here. It's I'll a, it's not here, go even, ahead. Wait, it's, just go in. Just go you know in. What? No, no. Bray, go in. Go. It's not up Bray, go here in. though. It's like over here. Go in. Go as deep as you can. I'm not going that in. Just go in. One booger. Yeah, swap. Not on my face. <laughs> no, let me go Not in. On my face. Let me go in this nostril. No. We'll swap. We'll swap. Hey, ah! <laughs> yeah, here, you take it too. Here, you take it God back. damn it! There we go. <laughs> so a booger on me somewhere now. Mirrors too. Also sucked, but it was more entertaining. It was definitely more entertaining. The there was more blood. There was more guts. Uh, cooler, more uh entertaining kills. Yeah. And no key for Sutherland. And honestly, the lines were just a lot funnier. Like, it was, like, bad, but, like, you know, bad good. Like, while Mirrors 2 was just... It was kind of on the B movie, like... Yeah, while yeah. Mirrors 2 was just bad and not enjoyable, Mirrors 2 was bad, but still, like, enjoyable. Because it was like, yeah. okay, you're laughing, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I agree. So I like Mirrors 2 way more. And you know what's funny? When I watched the trailers and shit, I didn't remember Mirrors 2 at all. I remembered Mirrors 1 a lot, so I was like, maybe I'll like it I more. I didn't even know there was a Mirrors 2. Fucking hate... I didn't either. Fucking hated Mirrors 1. Mirrors 2, I'm like, you know what? I'd probably watch it again, maybe. I'll like, watch it again for the funny. I'd watch it again if just like it's a background where like drunk or something. Decapitations like, are it. always cool. In movies, if you're going to put a, a fucking decapitation, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll do it. Okay, so what do you rate Mirrors 2? Out of five, right? Out of five. Go one and a half, two. Because I think we Somewhere rated Mirrors there. the same, like or around the same. Yeah. I think we could both just agree that it's a half a star above Mirrors. Yes. It's worse than Mirrors 1 for some reason. Like, I do think, like, maybe even though the story on Mirrors 1 is terrible and everything else in production and whatnot, I somehow think it might be better than Mirrors 2, but Mirrors 2 is way more entertaining. Yeah. So I'll give it the extra half star, at least just for more that. More entertaining. I actually laughed during yeah. this movie. I had fun watching this. Yeah. It, wasn't it was bad. much more fun than watching Kiefer Sutherland have a fucking mental breakdown and punch a, a mirror. I don't care about Kiefer Sutherland <laughs> at all. Like, maybe it's just our genuine hatred for him, but, like, I can't do it. It's just, you know. So, we already read some letterbox reviews, uh, did all that stuff. So, okay, thumbs up or thumbs down, ramen or cream of mushroom? Cream of mushroom, it's man. A cream of mu it sucks. It's a cream of mushroom. It's terrible. And I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend. Like, you don't have to watch this. If movie. you've already watched Mirrors One, I'd say re I'd recommend sure. it just to be like, all right, there's something slightly better than it. And out there. if you were a fan of Mirrors One, go rewatch Mirrors One and then watch and this. then watch this one because it's way better. Yeah, it, you're gonna it's enjoy not, it a little It's more. way worse, but it's so much more fun. <laughs> it's it's a good time. <laughs> um, okay, so real quick, fuck Mary Kill, just do it off the top of your head fast. I'm gonna give you a five second. Uh, you got Cheddar Bob with a slashed up face. You have a box of broken mirrors and you don't have me. You have Max. Go. Five. Okay. Four, um, three. Oh, fuck. This is too two, fast. I can't. And go right okay, now. Kill um, Cheddar Bob. Fuck. Fuck. Five. Fuck a Max. Four. And fuck a Max. Kill. <laughs> three. Kill the, two. the box of glass. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. fucking know. Okay. Reiterate again. I don't even know what I said. I was under so much pressure. Cheddar. Oh, no. I think you said you killed Cheddar Bob, right? Yeah, I'd kill Cheddar Bob. That's a lie. You though. said kill the box of mirrors, too, though. So kill Cheddar no, no, Bob. No, 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 no. Fuck Max. Is that what you said? Kill Cheddar Bob. 
Marry the box of glass. Yeah. Marry yeah. the box of glass. Fuck Max. Yeah. Kill yeah, yeah. Cheddar Bob. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I have a real quick email from Olivia Kloss. So I said Cass. Kloss. Um, she wants to help me win an argument from the Jersey Shore shark attack episode. Apparently, Bria was accusing me of not being a scientist, and I was telling her to fuck off because I definitely am a scientist, and Olivia notified me that she had a friend that got a certificate from Bill Ny Nye the Science Guy uh, at the Dollar Tree, and I might be able to win my argument with something like that. Bill Nye from the Dollar Tree? Is that what she said? Something about it. I could get a certificate that's signed by Bill Nye saying I'm a scientist. Do you think that would help me win the argument? Probably. Okay. That was a very long time ago, though. So thanks, I don't really remember what we argued about. <laughs> thanks, Olivia. And also, 23, I'd say at least 23 people said that me and Brie killed Betty White. So um, if you enjoy the show, leave a five star on uh, you know iTunes and Spotify and all I'm that. I'm not uh, speaking about Betty White. Leave I a cried. <laughs> leave a five star. You can I also cried. You can rate on Spotify now, so do that too. Uh, you know, people have sent in cool designs, so thank you to everyone. Thanks for sending them cool stuff. If you want to send cool stuff, send it to horrorsoupyahoo.com. Thank you to Strider, who made some really cool glitchy Matrix horse soup set for the show. Uh, some cool artwork. I know you've been going through some rough times, bud, but you're an incredible person. I wish nothing but the best to you. Follow Strider, sometimes on Instagram, at pisswaterhotdog. That's with underscores. Piss underscore water underscore hot dog. On Love Tumblr, that. at vent posts, probably. Vent post, probably. And then thank you to Tony for making the stuff we made earlier. Hey, it's you go, Tony. That's T-O-E-K-N-E-E -E -E dot D-R-A-W-S. Yes. Tony Draws for making some badass art with the skeleton stuff and all that. And if you guys like the show and want extra content, patreon.com slash horror soup. And follow the Instagram at horror soup. Follow the Twitter at horror soup sucks. Follow my movie reviews on horror soup, Caleb on Letterboxd. Search horror soup on YouTube. TikTok popping at horror soup. Doing cool stuff. TikTok's going crazy. Cameo at Horror Soup. Thank you to Tom, a.k.a. the Mutant Members Only Club for making our music. And thank you to Ross Lee for making the outro music. And I'm going to say, ha, 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 bye. Bye, Bree. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. bye.